Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session onwards, we are going to start our new journey where we will design and implement SPFX client side web part application. So let's begin our journey. So guys, before starting our SPFX client side web part application development journey, we have to understand what we did so far. Then we will also discuss about what is going to coming next. We will also understand why SPFX application needed. We will understand the application design and we will also look into steps to implement implement SPFX client side web part application. So guys in our this SPFX journey we have already seen the evaluation of the SharePoint development. Along with that we have also done the environment setup where we have seen normal process to set up your SharePoint SPFX environment for the development as well as we have also seen setup of SPFX developer environment container using Docker. And for our course we are using the same setup where we are using SPFX Docker container to do our development. Then we have also discussed about the solution structure of a SPFX client side web part application. All these things we have done with level 1 then we started our journey for level 2 where we have understand the SharePoint REST API where we have seen how to use the REST API through Postman tool and with the help of Postman tool we have created the list item read the list item update the list item as well as we have seen deletion of list item all these things we have done at level 2 now we are at level 3 so what we are going to do next so guys we are going to create SPFX client side web part application. So now the question over here is you must be asking that why do we need SPFX application when we are able to create item with the help of Postman tool and the answer to your question is Postman tool is good to test your endpoints whether your endpoint is working well or not or whether your endpoint is returning or the data or not but whenever we are working in any of the collaborative environment and on that time if there is a need of any kind of a functionality as per the business requirement then you can't use postman tool where you can specify the rest api and perform the activity you need a full-fledged application that you can't design with postman tool so before going into further discussion i wanted to show you one of the application design which we are going to design in this journey so let's look into that so guys suppose if you want to design a form for our event registration application which we were seen earlier where we are passing the data or whatever the operations which we are performing that we are performing through the SharePoint REST API that is not very user friendly instead of that we want a form and with the help of that form we will perform all the operations so that we can't design inside the postman tool so for that reason we need SPFX client side web part application where we will perform all those activities which we were performing in Postman tool. We can do it inside the SharePoint itself. So how we can design such custom application? So the answer is SPFX client side web part application. In our upcoming sessions, we are going to perform all these activities to implement these functionalities. So in the upcoming session, what we will do? Let's look into that. So guys, in the upcoming session, we are going to implement the SPFX client side web part application. So now let's look into the steps. What are the steps we are going to follow to implement our end to end application. So guys we will start our journey with the step one where we will implement the user interface. Once we done with the user interface implementation we will proceed to the step two where we will implement the create list item functionality inside the SPFX web part application. Now we will proceed with the step 3 where we will look into how we will design the functionality to read the list item inside our application. Then we will proceed further and we will look into a step 4 where we will implement the update list item functionality in our application and at last we will look into step 5 where we will look into the implementation of the delete list item functionality in our SPFX client side web part application and this is going to be really very fun activities you will come to know that how actually you can implement the SPFX client side web part application all these implementation we will see in a step by step manner so on this note I am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care